Good afternoon, everybody. So, uh, originally, I was supposed to talk about uh, LibreOffice Asia, but uh, since we have a separate session uh, around six o'clock, so I'll be um, talk about more about the LibreOffice in Sri Lanka. Mm -hmm. So the way we uh, can started and how the things going on. So uh, uh, I'm Danish Kanarin from Sri Lanka. So. Um, uh, Actually, I started my localization uh, when I was at the uh, Red Hat uh, uh, localization team with these guys. So, uh, so after some time, I quit and then I was keep contributed. Uh, so, uh, so, uh, so we started with the yeah, uh, open open office. Then we moved to uh, LibreOffice three point two localization. And actually, at that time, uh, ICTA agency helped me a lot because actually. Uh, since they had to introduce more uh, uh, terms uh, to um, Lib uh, the uh, LibreOffice, so actually what they did, they said uh, they can get the help from uh, someone who uh, into translation, I mean uh, pro uh, just book translation, so actually they uh, print all the PO files and ask that guy to review all the things because that person is not into IT. So for him, uh, it's not uh, convenient to use a uh, translation tool like uh, localize or PO, uh, PO edit. So uh, so it went uh, somehow uh, whatever. Yeah, he uh, gave us a feedback after correcting everything. So I had to uh, uh, fix everything uh, again and uh, push it to the upstream. And uh, in, in 2011, uh, during a Fosfogau conference in Sri Lanka, uh, we uh, launched uh, LibreOffice uh, Singhala. And uh, uh, we did a QA workshop uh, to cover all the litmus tests. So uh, with the help of uh, uh, 15 guys, um, so we divided them into uh, six teams uh, to cover each and uh, all, uh, all the products of uh, LibreOffice. Uh, actually, at, at that time, to be honest, it was uh, open office, and uh, uh, so uh, we each team has to uh, tested on uh, test on uh, the the given uh, app uh, application. Uh, let's say uh, writer. So uh, each team has to test it on both Windows and uh, Linux to find if there is any uh, issues other than uh, typos. So uh, the so whatever typos we found, we fix uh, on the uh, during the event itself, and uh, the the we found few bugs. Uh, so we uh, uh, file the bugs at the same time. So nothing remained uh, for the next day. So um, uh, this was the uh, so these are a few Im Im images from the event. So um, and uh, uh, this was the launch event uh, uh, for LibreOffice three point two. And uh, in 2011, uh, uh, when we were launching uh, uh, LibreOffice 3.2, uh, the help was not uh, translated at all. So it was really huge. Uh, so the, the approach was uh, get a uh, community to uh, uh, translate it because uh, the uh, previous translation was just myself and some of my friends helped me time to time. But uh, it wasn't not that easy to uh, uh, complete the uh, uh, help translation. So uh, we ran. Uh, so on twenty seventh uh, April. So uh, uh, in two thousand eleven. So we uh, conducted twenty seven hours uh, translation marathon. Mm -hmm. So uh, we got uh, uh, more than seventy contributors. So most of people they have never translated, but uh, they would. Uh, they, they were interested in contributing to a community project. And uh, so one of the ideas is to uh, let everyone to contribute and also uh, uh, make a noise about uh, the product. So uh, some of them actually they uh, heard about uh, the product on the first, uh, that was their first time they heard uh, about the product. So uh, so this is one of the, uh, uh, uni uh, this is from University of Kalani students, so 35 students from uh, this university. So uh, they they joined from the their own lab, so uh, yeah. This and uh, so a few of us were uh, helping them because we didn't had a, a style guide or nothing. So uh, only the government glossary that was not enough uh, to run this event. But uh, uh, 
uh, we were using IRC to help uh, the, all the people uh, and some of them were actually uh, the uh, they were using some uh, offline tools like localize and they uploaded later but we we did one thing actually we asked for the university students actually we asked them to use a particular component otherwise uh, it's really hard to find uh, uh, who did what but uh, to be honest uh, there was a problem with the end result because uh, yeah they they did translate uh, we could finish uh, uh, 47 or 47000 words within uh, 27 hours but the thing is quality of the translation is not that good so some of them translated even the html syntax because they don't they, some most of them they don't know about translation so so in that case actually it's our problem so we should uh, give them a proper guide so uh, so i hope in future uh, i mean as a libreoffice community so we can uh, uh, run i mean this kind of event i mean like globally so uh, it's not just uh, um, completing some work but again uh, we can make uh, some noise it's a co community uh, awareness and uh, yeah and later uh, earlier actually the microsoft office was clearly mentioned in textbooks in school textbooks so uh, with the help of uh, various people it's not a one man show but we could be able to uh, this is the current textbook in uh, IT, a singular textbook uh, published by uh, um, Ministry of Education uh, uh, with the help of uh, National Institute of Education. So you can see, as you can see, so both Microsoft and uh, uh, LibreOffice uh, writer, it's mentioned here. So, so even here you can see each step mentioned in both uh, 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 in both uh, Microsoft Office and uh, LibreOffice, and uh, we we did a, um, a workshop to uh, journalists in order to uh, make an awareness about open source because they don't. Uh, whenever we run an event, they don't know uh, about open source. So uh, the, uh, because we should educate them, then they know about open source. Uh, the uh, ICT agency uh, help us. Uh, to conduct this event and to 24 25 journalists were uh, participated and some of them wrote at least one article after this uh, yeah so uh, in so in 2011 uh, we did uh, awareness campaign in uh, local government uh, authorities in the one of the um, uh, province in Sri Lanka so this idea was to introduce uh, open source tools like uh, um, LibreOffice and uh, Firefox and uh, right now uh, actually we were not pushing them to uh, uh, install I mean we were just uh, introducing but there was no such a migration at all but uh, somehow uh, uh, late, uh, recently the Actually, today they updated me. So they have started the e local government project. It, uh, so this project project is ongoing now. They have deployed. Uh, um, uh, actually, the, they have already uh, uh, Windows machines with the Microsoft Office, obviously. Uh, but they so they have deployed uh, ten machines to each o uh, organizations. So with the um, uh, GNU Linux or. Uh, this in this uh, machine store obviously they use uh, LibreOffice and uh, I started our project called Hantala Lake is a Fedora remix so it was deployed in uh, uh, nine national schools in Sri Lanka so this was it was uh, uh, deployed in around 2011 so in in the, these uh, these schools, so we shipped uh, uh, not just the LibreOffice, but also we uh, uh, push uh, ship the LibreOffice uh, documentation, so complete documentation. Who uh, so um, so whenever you uh, idea, create an account, so you will definitely get the um, a copy of the Lib LibreOffice documentation in the home directory. So it, it's kind of like a, a make a 
because most of uh, some of the schools they don't have internet in that case uh, you have easy access to the uh, LibreOffice documentation uh, so since we don't, uh, didn't have any uh, budget to print the manual so th uh, this is what we did and uh, uh, yeah uh, sorry um, so actually this was uh, uh, downloaded f uh, more than uh, 40,000 copies so uh, according to the SourceForge Yeah, there is an ongoing project by, uh, by, uh, um, from Ministry of uh, Education. So it's about uh, deploying thousand school labs. So uh, which is consist with okay, some of the schools are uh, getting 20 uh, systems per lab. Uh, it's uh, or 40 systems. It's based on the uh, num uh, number of stu students in the school. So uh, uh, Unfortunately, at the last moment, Microsoft able to uh, jump into this project. Now, it, this project was supposed to be a, uh, a fully open source project, in, um, uh, but now it's uh, mm -hmm. they managed to get the Microsoft uh, Windows, and now it, it's uh, going with like a dual boot. Uh, so we can't guarantee that uh, uh, teachers using uh, only LibreOffice or only Linux. And yeah, uh, so the whatever I have mentioned so far, it's a uh, uh, actually effort from the, all the people, uh, ICT agency, Minister of Education, National Institute of Education, and uh, the ongoing project for the local government is from Minister of Local Government and Provincial Councils, and uh, even in many universities and uh, uh, Linux uh, user group in Sri Lanka. So um, that's it about um, the, our Sri Lanka, uh, how the things happening in Sri Lanka, and I will have a few suggestions for Asia. So actually, uh, if we compare with LibreOffice uh, project with the other uh, open source projects like Fedora or GNOME or KD, whatever, uh, so the contribution from Asia is really less. I mean, there are a few, uh, yeah, for even for the localization, there are, I mean, I think all the English languages supporting, but there are some, con uh, I think still we need uh, contribution from other countries, but even localization is not the only way uh, someone can contribute, especially, um, I think, really few uh, contributors to the development, and uh, I think even uh, Italo mentioned that he need uh, uh, support for the marketing stuff. So I think even the next thing is, uh, uh, yeah. So we have, um, I mean, uh, so even for us, uh, we have like a common issues and common culture. And so actually sometimes, most of time, so the issues, uh, so for me, I can get a solution from some other country. So idea is actually my uh, plan was to have a discussion among the uh, uh, communities uh, in the Asia. So and even uh, in future. So I hope if it's uh, really good uh, if we can uh, host a uh, LibreOffice uh, Asia uh, meet up or conference to get more people and and and, and because there are even here there are only few people uh, attending this event. So it's really good uh, if more people can uh, interact with the um, even uh, LibreOffice developers or whoever the active, the other people, like uh, the people in the mentor level. Yeah, we have already discussed this with uh, Italo and yeah. Sophie, and so we uh, asked them to you know um, connect this kind of uh, uh, conference or event you know in Asia yeah. or you know some middle place in Asia, typically India or something like wherever it is you know possible. So, um, and by the way, the, we have created a mailing list for those who are interested. Uh, so we can use this mailing list to uh, keep update with the ongoing um, upcoming events and even to share the uh, successful stories or even if we have a uh, issue, if you have an issue, so we can share with other people. Um, 
So yeah, this is a uh, idea of uh, Libratia cons because we can have hackathons, even uh, um, talks, uh, translation sprints. Um, even for Fedora, actually, uh, so actually I'm a part of Fedora. So Fedora, we have a um, uh, FATCON in APEX, or and uh, even we do a, a yearly uh, plan for the upcoming events, and we do uh, even uh, planning for the swags everything so we we uh, we, uh, ha we get all the list of events to be uh, conduct in the next year so in, uh, then we plan the swags accordingly because uh, we don't uh, um, uh, produce swags in each and every country because, uh, for example dvds so we produce the uh, for example last time uh, we got the dvds from india so then we distribute uh, within the other countries region but we are still uh, some I heard Lever Office stickers over there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you might take them. Yes. Yeah. I take some of the paint. Yeah. yeah you, can <laughs> take, you can take a lot of them. You, you've already emailed Oliver. Yeah. <laughs> oh, did I? Was I? Yep, thank you. Uh, so uh, I don't know if we have enough time, but uh, so anyway, if you have any questions regarding the my previous uh, slide set for the regarding Sri Lanka, well, so just it's amazing uh, what, what you all organize. I'm really feeling jealous seeing you having a meeting with forty-seven people or whatever stuff. It's, it's good. Um, where do you find all the time? It, uh, do you have time in your job or uh, just personal question? Or oh, uh, at that time, uh, I, I, I all, all in the evening. So <laughs> no, I I was not working at that time. <laughs> yeah, so uh, so I could I could I had enough time. So uh, so I, actually, I I finished one of my uh, uh, project with the ICT agency, and I was waiting for a proper job. Uh -huh. So at, and uh, yeah. I was going around the country for the oh. running uh, for events. So uh, I met various people, including the government officers. So this for this event actually, it was not just a youth; that even like a, uh, oldest people. Um, so even they joined. Someone from the uh, direct, one person joined. He was a, a director of uh, government reengineering. So so there was no such an age level. So we okay. yeah. Okay. And, and the dual boot uh, computers with Ubuntu and uh, the Microsoft stuff. Uh, which is on top when you start them? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, t oh, yeah. Uh, to be honest, I don't know the exact situation. Uh, but it's depend on the um, teachers because, uh, as he mentioned in uh, what is that uh, Microsoft Challenge or something, right? In yes. Vietnam. So actually, it's happening in Sri Lanka also. So yeah. when they use the word challenge, so actually, if I'm not wrong, it's about uh, making presentations using uh, Microsoft. Uh, impre uh, sorry, uh, PowerPoint. Microsoft PowerPoint. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> 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 yeah. Uh, so, uh, um, so that if I'm not wrong, that's the uh, pro they are uh, marketing like you can do some uh, visual basic or whatever the language is. But actually, ha uh, what's the reality is they make presentations and they select uh, regional wise and they have a global uh, uh. something. Yeah. So that's the reality. So then, uh, yeah. p p teachers they they like because they are, we are humans, right? Anyone like to yeah. go to a foreign country and get a scholarship? So so it's they what so they are trying to uh, uh, c get the attraction. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And uh, so uh, in Sri Lanka, and there is another thing: uh, um, intellectual property. A law is uh, uh, actually it's there, and uh, some uh, few years ago, actually there were some incidents like uh, um, the um, actually the uh, well, I think Department of Police actually they appro uh, they they visit one of the company those who uh, they were using a prior a copy and uh, copies of Windows, and it was a uh, one incident that because actually they find uh, I don't I can't remember the amount. So most of banks they already moved to uh, at the time it was open office office they, so they have moved from Microsoft Office to open office. So I don't know how in numbers uh, in the pu uh, public, but some of them already migrated. But it wasn't done by ourselves. 
yeah. i mean they uh, they knew okay this this is a <laughs> good product for them yeah. so uh, there was no such a um, uh, big uh, community involvement like in uh, in italy yeah. so these yeah. are like a small stuff yeah he just came in so so you have to leave this yeah stage okay thank you <laughs> <laughs>